Drivers, listen up. The seemingly never-ending list of construction projects around town just got longer. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Denise Valdez. We have endured Project Neon, which took over the spaghetti bowl for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, drivers have survived various phases of the Centennial Bowl. Now, that broke ground in January. Now, crews are closing certain sections of the 215 in the northwest to put new freeway flyover ramps in. All right, so the next up is going to be the downtown access project, part of the I-15 intern alternative development study that will run along the 95 from the 15 out to Charleston. Now, plans call for highway bridge and road improvements along this area. We do have 8 News Now reporter Sasha Loftus joining us from the road with more on what we can expect. Hi, Sasha. Well, Denise and Kirsten, we are out on the road here. I apologize if it's a little shaky. The road's a little bumpy. I am in the passenger seat of our 8 News Now van, and I'm going to turn this around here. We're on that portion of the US 95. That was Tim Zietlow, our photojournalist, at the wheel there. This is the part of the US 95 we're talking about. You can see the backup here. It's kind of bumpy in the area. Now, this all the way stretches from Charleston to the I-15, and NDOT crews hope that the improvements they're going to to make will just make this a lot safer and smoother for everyone. With the turn of each tire and the crank of these levers and cables. This area comes 3 o'clock or like 2 o'clock. It's, it's the worst. Christopher Brown takes his tow truck driving talents across Las Vegas. But every time he heads out to help someone, this stretch of the US 95 between Charleston and the I-15 gives him a huge headache. It is the worst, especially when you're in the truck going blah, 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 blah. Adrian Packer of the Nevada Department of Transportation says her team hopes to change that with what will be the downtown access project. When you drive on 95 and you go like this, those are the things that we want to address. The plan to rebuild this bridge, widen the road and improve highway ramps in the coming years. Downtown is hugely popular, as we know, so we want to make it easier for people to access downtown. And in the meantime, they're focusing on short-term fixes to make this stretch a lot more bearable. It's an inconvenience for us because we, we can't get to places fast. Their changes, Brown says he's excited to see as he waits for what he hopes will be a safer, smoother commute. Now it's like out of control. Out of control. Now back out. Now back out here live. You can see we're kind of past the thick of that congestion, at least on this side of the US 95. Now these improvements that we are talking about, and that was a study that's done, not set to happen for a while now. No set date on when that will start. But again, we will see those smaller improvements starting in the next year. Reporting live along the US 95, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.